To understand how focused cold therapy works, we need to understand where and why it works. Let's start with a brief review. As you can see, a nerve consists of thousands of axons encased in myelin sheath within endoneural tubes. These tubes are bundled in the perineurium and the complete nerve fiber is encased in the epineurium. If we were to isolate a single nerve cell, we'd observe an axon conducting signals from the sensory receptors. However, once we apply focused cold therapy, conduction is interrupted, all signals stop, and Wallerian degeneration begins. It's important to note that this degeneration includes the axon and the myelin sheath, but not the endonorium, which is unaffected by focused cold therapy. Schwann cells then activate macrophages to engulf and digest the debris and secrete signaling factors to create a growth cone. Once the debris is cleared and the growth cone is formed, the axon begins to regenerate at a rate of one to two millimeters per day. And once the axon reconnects with the sensory receptors, conduction resumes. The Iovera system is used to destroy tissue during surgical procedures by applying freezing cold. It can also be used to produce lesions in peripheral nervous tissue by the application of cold to the selected site for the blocking of pain. It is also indicated for the relief of pain and symptoms associated with osteoarthritis of the knee for up to 90 days. The Iovera system is not indicated for treatment of central nervous system tissue. The Iovera system's 1 by 90 smart tip configuration, indicating one needle which is 90 millimeters long, can also facilitate target nerve location by conducting electrical nerve stimulation from a separate nerve stimulator. Important safety information. Contraindications. The Iovera system is contraindicated for use in patients with the following. Cryoglobulinemia, paroxysmal cold hemoglobinuria, cold urticaria, Raynaud's disease, and open and or infected wounds at or near the treatment site. Potential complications. As with any surgical treatment that uses needle-based therapy and local anesthesia, there is a potential for site-specific reactions, including but not limited to ecchymosis, edema, erythema, local pain and or tenderness, and localized dysesthesia. Proper use of the device as described in the user guide can help reduce or prevent the following complications. At the treatment site or sites, injury to the skin related to application of cold or heat, hyper or hypopigmentation, and skin dimpling. Outside the treatment site or sites, loss of motor function. For more information, visit www.iovera.com.